been uh, whatever is available in the speed uh, speed app i've been doing those even from the gts whatever and then i would refer those particular questions whatever i've been doing wrong and mm-hmm. of course whatever i've been doing right also i would go back to my source of uh, study and see the standard textbooks i would go through that and rectify my mistakes so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr akshata kamath for scoring a very good rank on dm anesthesia group rank number 23 and dm critical care medicine group it is 682 and uh, for neat ss 2024 session congratulations to you doctor thank you so much sir thank you great now can we know a brief background history from where you started and what all you did and what all you accomplished till date Yes. So I'm basically from Mangalore. I have done my uh, MBBS from KVG Medical College, Sudhya. And then I've done my MD Anesthesia from uh, St. John's Medical College, Bangalore. So I just finished my MD in uh, January this year. And now I've written this exam and the rest uh, is... So back to back. Yes, sir. So you had two options. One to go on Anesthesia side and the other side is on Critical Care Medicine. Yes, sir. So you've written both exams. Yes, sir. Now what is there in your mind? so my primary uh, preference would be transplant anesthesia after that uh, neuro anesthesia and critical care are almost uh, on par with each other so transplant is my primary goal yes Tran- so so people join anesthesia to finish the course quickly and give anesthesia and settle in life and make the learning yes 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 <laughs> <laughs> now uh, now you are focus on to go to the superficiality yes who inspired you where you have got it from and then when you decided to do so sir i feel like there is no ending to learning i always wanted to do something uh, further a lot of this has to do with the, my teachers and the kind of influence that they have put in me uh, and the motivation that they have given me so i don't want to stop at just an md i want to do something more that is why I, great so you decided to do a superficiality yes. so then uh, then definitely your focus would have turned okay how do how do i do how do i go go about it yes Now, you tell me uh, from that day i mean how you started your working towards it and you got what you had today sir honestly i didn't exactly prepare for this exam so i was focusing more on uh, learning and gaining my skills in my 3 years of residency but i wrote the exam thinking why not let me try in the last two months after my md examination i solved mcqs and uh, gave some gts and with that i wrote the exam and somehow i think some amount of luck is also involved in that that i made it and i got a rank that's super cool thank you sir and uh, you just had in your mind you did it and it came <laughs> so it's very good it's very good so your effective preparation as according to you is only for last two months am i right yes sir so what you did in the last two months so the people will learn this uh, trick and the not the trick the secret uh, so that they can adopt and will, will they can adopt that and can get a good rank like this that i wouldn't call it a secret i think everybody keeps all our teachers all our mentors keep telling the same thing that we need to keep practicing uh, more mcqs that's when we know uh, where we are going wrong and with that of course with the, uh, every mcq comes with an explanation and the source from which that explanation has been derived as well so i used to go back and uh, look at those things whenever possible of course i have not done it for every single uh, question that i solved and uh, the more questions you solve i think the more you know how we the our thought process should work in solving the questions so i think that's the only thing that i did so you did only mcqs for last two months yes sir how are you sure yes sir i am only been doing mcqs how many mcqs what kind of mcqs you are doing yes, sir i have yeah. been uh, whatever is available in the speed uh, speed app i have been doing those even from the gts whatever and then i would refer those particular questions whatever i have been doing wrong and of course whatever i've been doing right also i would go back to my source of uh, study and see the standard textbooks i would go through that and rectify my mistakes little retro learning so so no textbook learning at that point of time only te- give, in give these two months no sir uh, but my foundation from my pg days was always from standard books so i that was always of course there but in these last two months i've only been solving mcqs so mcqs we have a doubt go back to the primary source correct yes sir yes so no full time reading books no videos in these two months no sir prior to that i had but in these two months no prior to that did you watch videos uh 
yes i i subscribed around uh, january so uh, prayer to whatever i could in that little time i have but in the main uh, last two months i've only done mcq sir very interesting this is a one good strategy i have never known this i think probably i can recommend this to some of the people who don't like to read and don't like to watch videos <laughs> <laughs> do as many mcq as possible because it's worked because it is work for you that's why i'm telling and that's the reason why but one important thing is you have read the books properly before that's a, that's a class yes Action sir apply yes sir too good so the number of mcqs you answered in the actual exam so i attempted 143 in uh, anesthesia critical care i didn't attempt as many i uh, i attempted about 130 i believe so you, you are not serious about it is it uh, sir i was a little scared because critical care was on day 1 so i attempted 130 with caution and then second day i thought let me try and see how far i can go and i attempted 143 so the your, pri- your primary exam was anesthesia exam sir both sir i can't really pick say that okay so uh, what is your current role in the so now what will be your advice for the future aspirants of either group sir i feel like the biggest learning point is in the operating theater itself from the patient so the okay. clinical knowledge that you get in those 3 years only will help you in the long run so a lot of questions when i was solving also those uh, clinical scenarios were coming to my mind so focus on what is happening in the theater and simultaneously study so that way you will be able to do it i think good so now final part of the concluding aspect of interview yes whom all you want to thank they helped you and uh, from day 1 till date what you achieved till date so you can do so so definitely the first and foremost i'd like to thank my family my parents and my sister they've always been supportive and encouraging in everything that i do also my friends who have always been with me and my teachers from my kg days to md everybody i feel has a role to play in the kind of person that i've become today So I'd like to thank all of them. So congratulations once again, dear. Yes, sir. And uh, and you are very good in kind of planning your things and doing accordingly. And uh, you are a very very meticulous and a disciplined way that I could I could get it. And you will do a a great super specialization and and a great career ahead in your thank transplant and assisia. Thank you, sir. Wish you all the very best and all the success. Thank you sir thank you great 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 great